Welcome to another day, my marathon family. Today is day number 17. We're training our entire body. All you need for today's workout is your mat, or if you don't have a mat, you can uh, use a towel or a blanket, and you need your own self. And we're going to have five exercises. We're going through them three times. So you're starting with the first one, starting on the floor. Your knees are about hip width apart and you're sitting on your heels. It is called a prayer push up. From here, you start tensing your glutes and your legs. Coming up and going into a push up position and bringing yourself back down, but don't just drop on your heels. Control it when you're lowering yourself down by tensing your muscles. And going into another one. And again, slowly sit up. What we're concentrating on is engaging our core, all the abs, all your abdominal muscles are being engaged. When you do the push-up, place your wrists underneath your shoulders and a shoulder width and go down. And again, sit back onto your heels and again. Amazing, we already done with it. Moving on to our next one. We're going to be learning a lunge, which is the exercise mimicking lots of movements we're doing on a daily basis so when you're getting up from the floor sitting on our heels staying on one side placing um, one leg in front of you and start tensing these glutes and this leg and you're standing up onto a lunge but you're not going into a full lunge keep that muscle under tension go back and sit down onto your heel a second of rest and again Tense your muscles, your core, your leg, quads, everything should be tense and lower yourself down. The main thing here is to really control every single movement by engaging all the muscles, not leaning to one side, core is braced, shoulders away from your ears, this leg is working, this leg is working, coming up slowly and going down. Your quads, which is the front part of your upper leg, should be already on fire. And let's do this one on the other side. So we sit onto our heel, tilting on the pelvic floor, and let's go. Place that one to the front, and we're standing up. Note how the back leg, the toes, we're tucking them under, and slowly coming up, tensing these muscles, the glutes, and slowly under control, we're lowering ourselves back onto our heel. And again, slowly come up, keep your back straight, and sit back down. Try to concentrate on going upwards rather than um, moving your body to the front. Go upwards, pull yourself up, and then slowly come up, come down and sit onto your heel. And one more, amazing. If balance is an issue, you can hold on to a wall or place a chair right next to you. And the next one, it is going to be an exercise, again, for our entire body. Sit onto one heel and straighten the other leg to the side. What we do here, you're coming up, squeezing your glutes, and you're rotating your foot, placing it onto the heel, and you're rotating, twisting your body. Move into the front, placing the foot back, and sit down. Make sure that your knee, your hip, your ankle, all stay in one line. So don't do this all the night. Come up, rotate your foot, bring it back onto the floor, and sit down. Once again, we are working on our mobility. We're working on our flexibility. Your quads should be on fire. Literally should be burning now. Come up, twist, core is engaged, our obliques are working, our quads are working, all our leg is tense. But make sure that you sit right onto your heel. So don't sit to the side, align yourself. We do not want any injuries and we want good results. Leg is straight but do not lock your knee. Come up and then turning that foot Turning it back onto the floor, sitting down, under control. Come up, engage your core. Exhale at this point, and go back onto your heel. And again, come up, 
and twist, rotate your foot, rotate it back down. This is a great mobility exercise, this is great for your hips, this is great for your ankle, this is amazing for your core, we're engaging our core, for your posture, because you have to engage your abdominal muscles. Wow, my legs are literally on fire. Now we're moving back to our prayer push-up. So remember, feet at about hip width, sitting on our heels, and from here, coming up, going into that push-up, under control, and going back down, under control once again. Never let the momentum to take place. Make sure that your muscles are working every single second of the workout. That's why you do it. You don't want to just whiz through the workout, thinking about other things, what you're planning, what you want to do. You want to concentrate on your muscles. You want to send that signal, I'm working out. Good breathing. Never hold your breath. Control it. Let your legs work. Let your glutes work. We're doing this push up. Elbows staying close to your body. Don't let your elbows to go outwards. Now, moving to our lunges. So stay on your favorite side. And what we do here, one leg goes forward and not leaning to one side. Standing up almost all the way and then sitting back down. Even if it's just a fraction, if you're just a beginner, hold on to a wall, help yourself, and come up just an inch. That's already progress. Next time when you do it, it's going to be inch and a half. And next time when you do it, it's going to be two inches. And this is how we're going to progress. This exercise is amazing. It trains you how to do the lunge properly. It strengthens your legs and challenges your coordination, your balance. Engage that core. Don't let yourself swing side to side. Gosh, my core is on fire. And now what we're doing? Moving to the other side. So, sit on your heel. The other leg goes forward. Once again, if you need to, hold on to a wall. Do it this way. And remember, Try to go upwards rather than moving forward. You need to tend and engage your muscles and come up. Knee and toes looking the same direction. They're looking straight ahead. And this alignment will prevent your injuries and will give you results a lot faster. <sighs> My quad is on fire. How are you guys doing? How are you surviving this one? Wow, this is amazing. So don't underestimate ever the workout. Control it, always. Wow, oh my God. Guys, I need some water. <laughs> Cause I am on fire, literally. It burns so much. Now, we're moving to our next exercise. Sit onto your hip alignment. Knee, hip, and your ankle. Leg goes straight to the side. And what you do, coming up, twisting your body, rotating your foot, bringing it back down, sit back onto your heel. Nice and strong arms, nice and strong upper body. Engage your core, engage your glutes, activate them, squeeze them. Chicken butt, remember the chicken butt, chicken glutes, chicken booty. Squeeze your glutes and keep them tense. And go down, amazing, keep doing it. Rotate back, sit onto your heel and go for the one more and again. Wow, after this one, definitely, definitely really stretch your quads because otherwise, you might have problems sitting on a toilet the following day, and we don't want that. All right, so. Coming up, under control, twisting, rotating our foot, going back, and sitting back on our heel. Once again, go slow, do not rush. Don't do this, because this is not going to give you results. It will, to a certain extent, but we need good results. We want 
this 15 minutes count. We want to get all the benefits. We want to get fitter, stronger, healthier, and happier. And again, come up the control, squeezing your glutes and rotate the foot, rotate it back, go down. Oh wow! And now we're going back to our first one, last round. If you're drinking, only a small sip. Let's go to our prayers push up, shall we? And Raise the underneath our shoulders. No arching in your back. Spine is in a neutral position. And sit back onto your glutes, onto your heels. And go, push up. And again. And again. Land softly. Prevent your wrists from injury. Do not lock your elbows. Elbows always soft as well to make this movement nice and fluid and not to put unnecessary pressure on our joints. Moving to our lunges. Wow guys, beginners workout. And my legs are on fire, literally. Now, let's do our lunge. Seating on our heel, one leg goes forward and let's go into that upper position and slowly on the way back. Try not to lean to the side, really engage your core. This is going to help you to keep yourself upright, keep yourself vertical. Slowly sit down. Oh my god, legs are burning. This is amazing. Well done. Keep your muscles working. Send that signal that you work. If you need, hold on to a wall. Hold on to a chair. Support yourself. Progress slowly. Never try to repeat something you're not ready for. That's why I go through variations. A complete beginner, a very small movement. Always support yourself that not all your body weight is there. That you can hold onto your wall and that way. Take some pressure off your working leg and coming up. And lowering ourselves down, going back onto the glutes, keeping body upright. And again, one more. Coming up, going down. Amazing, how are you feeling? Let me know, let me know how you felt during the workout. And definitely tell me if you wanted to kill me, if you had a desire to punish me for this workout. I love it. And I think I will put it in my library of my favorite ones. Because it burns like crazy. Okay, and now we're moving to our last two exercises. Let's start from your favorite side. Sit onto your heel. And let's go. Coming up, foot and upper body. Going back, sitting down under control. Shoulders away from your ears. Neck is relaxed. Your core is engaged. Your glutes. And now my left glute is working harder because this is the working leg here. But this leg gets engagement as well. So our entire body is being worked out. Want to make it harder? Keep your arms like so, at a shoulder level, or even like so, but you will need a bit more space for this movement. That way, your arms will be added as well. So there is always a way of making each exercise harder and easier. Oh my Lord, that burns. Okay, now the very, very last exercise. So let's give it our best. Get into the correct alignment. Hip, ankle, knee, everything in the same line. Twisting. And go back onto your heel. And again, come up. Remember not to lock that knee off the straight leg. Go down, under control, and now another rep. That's a 
amazing, improving everything. Mobility, this is, it's crazy. There are so many different workouts nowadays, but you need to make sure that it helps you with your daily tasks. Whatever you do, if you're working out with me or with someone else, your safety is the best and the most important thing. And you need to choose the workout which is going to help you to get better and not uh, have fun for five minutes and then injure yourself. So take care of yourself. Now, as I said, make sure that you stretch your legs, your, your glutes properly and ideally the whole body. And don't forget to drink plenty, plenty of water during the day. And the main thing is always love yourself and love your life. And I love you all very, very much. And I wish you all the best. And do not miss to tomorrow's workout because it is what? Once again, a new one. Go enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.